In today's episode of Blender Add-ons, we're gonna talk about a very useful and free add-on that can help you level up your renders in a very short period of time and offers an easy method to render a cavity map effect instead of the long and boring traditional method. The cavity map is a texture that you can create to add more stylized details to your model. Actually, it highlights and darkens the cavities. This technique is also used for the renders. In Blender, you can create such an effect using a simple geometry and color ramp nodes, then tweak them until you get the result you are looking for. But that seems a bit too long and takes a long time, especially for low-end computers. Cavity Pass, on the other hand, is an add-on that can solve all these issues. The best thing about it is that it creates an effect that looks like the cavity map, but not only in one or two objects, it is for the render itself. That means if you want to add a fake bevel for catching the lights, you're gonna add the effect to your whole scene instead of creating a cavity map for each object separately. You can see now I guess how many steps you have skipped using this tool and how much time you can save. After installing the add-on, you will find another tab in the end panel. It is very simple and so easy to understand as well. There is a value to tweak for the cavity distance, and you can check what the rendered map looks like by clicking on the preview button. When you are sure about your value, click on render to generate the texture map and integrate it inside your compositor. You can also set up a cavity pass node group by checking the option. This one gives you full control over brightness, the contrast values, and also the color. In other words, you can manipulate the visual appearance of the light in the highlighted spots when it comes to your renders and their colors too. In case you felt that the map didn't have the effect that you are looking for, you can reset its value, clicking on review, and it will substitute the old texture with a new one. On a side note, there are three points we want to talk about. First, it is only applicable in rendering, which means that you can't create a cavity map for an object itself. Second, it is not ideal when it comes to animation rendering. This add-on is not made for making automatic image sequences. Instead, if you want to integrate its effect in an animation created inside Blender, you have to render the cavity map manually on each frame, which is a lot of work. Finally, it is not a real-time add-on, which means that after each change, you need to refresh it on the compositor. And as I said, the add-on uses the compositor, which facilitates rendering and minimizes the pressure on the processor and the graphics card. That means it doesn't slow your computer as the shader node system does. Blender doesn't need to calculate the changes or light reflections for example. Instead what you're gonna do, add a cavity map layer above your rendered scene. Another critical point is that it doesn't matter which engine you are working on. This cavity map doesn't need so much time to generate. Now you have a great tool that you can use to add stunning effects to your scenes without taking a ton of time. So who can benefit from this add-on? The add-on is more useful for those who work on VFX projects, product designers, and visualization artists. If you are interested in Cavity Pass, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.